welcome back to another video of Will Plays. Today we're playing Untamable from Choices. Let's begin. You and Kit are make you and Kit make a startling discovery about the ranch. A startling discovery. I wonder what that will be. Chapter nine. Truth will out. Is it just me and Kit today? I wonder what that will mean. Morning, Kit. Need a warm up. Need a warm up on that coffee. I love one. I love one mugs right there on the counter. That. That's what you were. That's what you're wearing to work today. I'll change before you start work. But this is breakfast, just the two of us. Anyway, I thought you liked. Is that how we're gonna play it this early in the morning? You know me, I'm always up for a good <laughs> Besides, it's not like the warden's here to catch us. You aiming to get up to some trouble? I think you know the answer. But first, breakfast. The most important meal of the day. Before you start anything, breakfast. <clears throat> what? No shirt stack on the side? Alone ten minutes and already acting like you run the place. Someone telling me what to do? Someone telling me what to do? Not a chance. When was the last time you let anyone to be the boss of you? You might like it. Need a little help walk, waking up. should be able to manage if we split up our task. How about I handle feeding and deck polish? As you focus on exercising the horse. Works for me. I want to make, make some time to check out the far, the far fence too. Sounds like a plan. We make a great team, Kit Jackson. Come on, Kit. You ought to know by now, I always finish what I started. Then you probably ought to start by putting some real clothes on upstairs. I'll clean up. How are we doing on our own, Buttercup? I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. 
Ostrich if you're lucky, and so oh, should you. Once I finish mucking this stall, I bet things run smoother if Austin kept it kept a tidy, tidier desk. Mom always said she kept us close to her heart. Can't believe I didn't recognize it right away. It's nice to know he held on to it. Are those the account books? Why are so, there so many? Well, I haven't seen this one. These thefts go back years. The purse care one is nowhere near enough to cover them all. Looks like you beat me today. Me? Not too shabby, but don't get used to it. Spare me, kid. I'm not in the mood. Whoa there. I was just rude on you. What's going on? Be honest. Have you ever seen this account book before? Nope, and I'm not surprised. Austin never l let on how far underwater this place was. At least it wasn't just me. Me, he kept in the dark. But why hide, it f hide this from us? I'm sure he had his reasons, but it's mighty hard to fathom them right now. And on top of that, he's out buying a new horse. We need to pay off our debts. I hear you. But ranching is a business where you need you need to take risk to succeed. The thing hmm. And I get it. I studied for the last four years. I know what it takes to keep a place like this running. But this kind of depth it's not something you can ignore. If we get a reputation for not paying our bills, it'll sink us. I hadn't thought about it from that angle. <sighs> I'm sorry, Anthony. Austin should have been, been honest with you, your family. It's just clear that you got a head, head for this stuff. And I don't just mean the way you're pulling your weight with the chores. Thanks, kid. It's so good to hear someone say that. Tell Austin how you feel once he's home. I'll back you. Until then, there's nothing you can do. But try to take your mind off of it. Tall order. Any suggestions? How about a picnic out on the West Pasture? I could pick us a basket. If you want, we can even figure out a strategy for running Austin. Two heads and all that. I promise everything will look better after a good meal on a beautiful day. What do you say? An afternoon with you? How could I? <clears throat> Excuse me. I just don't want to take a single moment for granted.
I'm raining some horses for us. We'll need a saddlebag from the tack room. Sure thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Appreciate your help today. You two, it'll be nice to enjoy the outdoors, won't it? What's all that? It's a surprise. Shall we? Ready when you are. This place brings back some memories, recent ones. Here, let me help. Thanks. Peppercorn mayo? Kid, this looks incredible. When did you have time to make all this? I like to experiment. I have a minute. with buttercup. I'm too hungry to wait. Let's dig in. It must be the company. But you put this picnic together. Besides, you don't have to talk. Just having you see, just having you around is a comfort. Kid, I hope you know I'm saying this is this is with love. But I feel like your cooking is wasted on us. Do you ever think about doing it for anyone else? I've toyed with the idea, but for now, feeding you two is more than enough. Work as it is. Of what is worth, I think you'd be good at it. On a bigger scale, I mean.
I need all the help I can get there. I don't get it. He's going to make it worse. No way. Austin knows you've got the business sense to help run this place. I know it. And why does Austin keep freezing me out? Is it pride? Maybe, but not in the way you mean. He isn't worried about you outshining him, Anthony. But he used to, he used to look, to look it out for you. The idea that he might not be able to. Well, I understand how hard it'd be for him to swallow that. Did you know that the year you went off to college, he might, he pretty much lived on ramen noodles. He never told me that. Of course not. And what worried you? Read you. And he wanted nothing more than for you to squeeze every last drop out of college. I feel a pang. Uh, oh. If that's true, then why not let me put it to good use? I can help him, kid. I know that. I think Austin knows that. But he's not thinking with his head. He's thinking with his heart. He's scared, Anthony. You must have guessed that. Of losing this place? We all are. Not just that. He's scared of letting you down. You're the person he cares about the most. There's about most. Your option means more to him than he lets on. But he cares about you too. So why isn't he afraid of letting you down? He let you quit the radio to help out. I don't see why he can't show me the same courtesy. I've been here long enough for him to choke another helping of pride down. I hear you, Anthony, but Austin and I, and, and I've always had a different relationship. After my mom passed, we got thicker and thieves. We were both looking out for each other. We always had a push and pull. Sometimes I'm helping him more. Sometimes the other way around. But we've always been going through it together. So because I was still a kid when Austin had to step up around here. He's never going to really trust me. He will, but it'll take time. Austin used to seeing me one way and used to seeing you another. I just need to take a deep breath and disconnect for a sec. It was like the perfect place to do that, don't you think? Well, here, it's easier to put things in perspective. So what do I do? How do I make Austin listen to me like he listens to you? It's going to be tough, but you just got to lay your cards on the table. Tell him what you know. It'll force him to treat you with treat you on the same level. Do I think that'll work? It's always worked f between him and me, and it, and it's why he finally accepted my help on the ranch. What'd you tell him? 
the truth that I care about this ranch more than any other place on earth. It's caring about the ranch. Is caring about the ranch the only thing that keeps you here? No, but I think you already know that. I do, but I could use some reservance. Ah, uh, don't remind me. That's what you said in the last chapter. <laughs> Thank you for doing this, kid. Not just this, for talking to me. I've needed it more than I realize. I'm here for you, Anthony, no matter what happens. And I promise you, Austin is too. He'll open up to you if you just give him time. girl. Poor thing. It's hard to carry all that around. What are we doing to keep her comfortable? All the standard things. Plenty of hay and fresh water. Leading her out in the, to the pasture so she can stretch her legs. Should we get more co some more, more bedding to make it cozy in her in here? And hand me the, that brush. And hand me that brush. A grooming will help her feel better. Feel her best. Smart thinking. Business and horse sense. All in one package. I know, how, I know I'm a hard worker, but you treat me like I belong here. That I can make a difference. That gives me the best. That gives me the confidence that I need the best. I'm glad you feel that way, though for the record you don't need to feel confident, you clearly know your stuff. You really think that the fool she's carrying could fetch enough money to help this place? I, th I think it'll be a big step in the right direction. Y'all look, look, 
Y'all look thick as thieves. Should I be worried? I was just complimenting Pip on his care for, of our mare. He had smart ideas on keeping the old girl comfortable. Let go, Pip. Knew I could trust you to look thing after things. Well, if y'all are good here, I should really check on the fence in the far pasture. what I said. Lay your cards on the table. Let's head to the tack room. We can work while I fill you in on the day. Unless you already polished the saddles. Uh, no. Then lead the way, Pip. Before we go too far, this or in this, this, I wanted to ask you about the books. What about them? I saw the other ledgers. I'm so sorry, Austin. I can't imagine how stressful this all feel be for you. I thought you were gonna chew me out. You aren't my enemy, Austin. Now more, now more than ever, we have to work together to find a solution. You're right. I'm sorry, Pip. You gotta understand. I was sure I could turn it around once once we sold the full. The amount of debt we're in won't go away with one good sale. This full is a start, but it's not enough to wipe our slate clean. I know. My luck's been pretty miserable lately. Keep saying it till you believe me. There's nothing you could do that would make me turn my back on you. Yep, that's good of you, but I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Even if we if we lose the winch, you'll always be my brother. I love you, Austin. Now please let me help. Sorry, Pip. I hear you loud and clear. Maybe, but why weren't you hearing me before, Austin? Why hide all this from me for so long in the first place? Truth is, it's been a while since I was just your brother. What do you mean? Stepping up after mom and dad died didn't just mean the ranch. It meant doing everything they did for you. I know that must have been hard. I'm only saying it so you understand. I got used to protecting my kid brother. Instead of trusting him. I promise. Oh, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna get past that. You're a par You're a partner in this place now. I mean to treat you like one. That's all I ever wanted. On that note, if we're going to be on the level, I need to get to know the new and improved Vincent Steele. What do you want to know? I find honest conversations pair well with whiskey. That good stuff. You can join in too. I mean it. I think I want to change how I'm treating you. And step one is seeing you for who you really are. Hmm.
This is starting to feel like I'm being inducted into a secret society. You are. It's called Steel Ranch. Now hold, now hold tight. I got just the thing to celebrate. Looks like congratulations are in order. Yep, it's official. We're sealing my partnership with a drink. It's the way we steals do, Anthony. And lucky for you, I found what I was looking after. Is that Dad's favorite whiskey? I bought about a case a few years before the accident. I only drink it on a special occasion. And welcome my baby brother or as a full partner in the Steel Ranch. That's as special as they come. Since it's Anthony's big day, I think he should do the honors. What are you drinking to, Anthony? Working together. Now that I'm your partner, I'm looking forward to getting closer. So I can finally start implementing all my brilliant ideas. You're here. Why don't you save this stuff for special occasions? Listen, you and I could tell how good it is. You know, I think the last time we cracked this open was... No need to go into that. No, no, I'm gonna need the story on this one. We're getting to know each other, right? I suppose that's true. Come on, Austin. Come out with it. Oh, fine. The last time we drank from this bottle was the night I decided to marry Lucy Freeman. Are you serious? Did she say yes? I thought Taylor and Alex were just blowing smoke up out y'all having history. You knew about me and Lucy? Wait, they knew about us? They knew about this? Clearly they didn't know the whole story. The word marriage did not come up. My question stands. What'd she say? I believe her ex exact response was... Honestly, a broken engagement on top of everything else wouldn't surprise me at this point. Thanks for the vote of confidence, you two. What exactly happened? I'm gonna need details. I was a teenager with big romantic notions about marriage. More like he wanted to get into Lucy's p though a proposal was the way. It was a long time ago, and all of us are kid jack. That's his own player, alright? Oh, man. I don't know. I've earned that title. If I earned that. Oh yeah, let's not forget the time we had to pull this bottle out after a buckle buckle hound tracked you back to the bar ranch. Kid was so shook after she finally managed to get him to leave. A sip drink was the only way to calm her down. That whole mess wasn't my fault. The man refused to believe me when I said I wasn't interested. True. And anyway, he's uh, known better. Or no one can tie it down to Jackson. No one has me has yet. But lately, I think maybe the right person could. So the whiskey's for special occasions only. Makes me wonder when the first time you drank it was.
that would have to be when I moved in that one summer. It was this year, year before your folks passed. You were pretty young. You don't, you do, you, do you remember? I almost remember following you and Kit around. Well, I thought taking Kit it would convince her old man to finally try out. It worked for a while. You know, hard it must have been. I know you were a teenager then, but that's still a child. I can't even imagine. It wasn't the best time for my life, of my life, that's for sure. But I appreciate you saying so. Besides, Austin and your parents, you're the only one who knows how bad it got. Speaking of your parents, I think we ought to drink to the people who made this partnership possible. To the biggest hearted folks I've ever known. To mom and dad. Miss, I miss you both every day. We said we were getting to know each other. So your turn. Hey, when would you have pulled this bottle out for you? A lot of the time... I need the Dean's List. I'll drink to that. Anthony Steele is the smartest person on the ranch, that's for sure. I'm not trying to brag, Austin. What? Why not? You should. I was a proud... I was as proud as mother. I was a mother hen when I got <laughs> got that letter in the mail. You were the best mother hen a guy could ask for. But I'm fine with you graduating to just brother from now on. Never should be benefit for a partner anyway. Thanks for including me, y'all. I can't even begin to tell you what this means to me. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. I'm just sorry it took me so long to make it good, make it good on it. We're here now. That's what counts. All right, y'all. Back to work before we get turned. I'll hold on to this for the next special occasion. Welcome to the team, Ethne. Glad to be here. Now get moving, Jackson. Daylight's a wasting. You heard the man get. I know that ride to the meadow this morning was a long one. You sure you're up for, for one more? If you say so. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You're looking out there. Thanks. Felt inspired after watching a certain someone on, at the rodeo. I don't know about her, but I'd be happy to teach you a few pointers. You teach me? How many days until you've got me hidden the amateur circuit, do you think? I think for today we ought to focus on hitting those turns and leave the circuit for... Next week, maybe. 
I'm fine. It all comes down to the details. <laughs> if you're in a speed event, the horse will respond faster. Ethe, get off that animal. We got a big thunderstorm rolling in. Maybe tornadoes. But I haven't heard any sirens. Well, that's a siren. Ethe, secure Buttercup in her stall. Austin and I'll be, and I'll round up the horses out, the, out, of, out of the pasture. I can't. Kit, my hands are full. Pip will have to help instead. The mare just went into labor, and she spooks Ooh, something fierce. We can't risk losing her or the foal. If we do, the ranch is sunk. Okay, so we got a sweat. Okay, so two problems. Or make it three. One, a thunderstorm's coming, or possibly, and possibly tornado. Two, the animals are outside and we gotta get them in the barn. And three, that horse that was pregnant is going into labor. Great. The worst thing that could happen. That's the worst thing that could happen if a thunderstorm came while you're on a farm. Like, I don't hear any sirens. Boom. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends. Comment below what you think of the video. If you want to get notified of any video I put up on my channel, hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I'll see you all in the next video.